Investigators are learning more about a pipe bomb found in a home on the southwest side. Two men cleaning the home found the device inside a lunchbox. News 9 crime tracker Jennifer Pierce has learned the person who lived in the home may have some answers. Jen? That's right, Kelly. Bomb Squad investigators are looking into who created the pop pipe bomb and why, but the person they need to talk to is in prison. In this home, it was like a hoarder's home. The new property owner hired two men to clean out the home near Southwest 37th and May. Billy Miller and his brother Chris Howell were told they could keep whatever they found of value. He liked the lunchbox, so we brought it home and opened it up. We were, we were going through things, and that's when we discovered it. Miller made this 911 call when he realized what was on his hands. It's got all kinds of BBs and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it, it, don't put your hands on it. He's pulling stuff out of the bag. I'm sorry. There's more stuff in the in the lunch pail that like could be the innards and of the bomb. A dangerous explosive device. The bomb squad determined it was a functioning pipe bomb. It detonated hours after it was discovered. Right after that second shot, it it. Boom. Yeah, you can feel the whole apartment it, shake and everything. It was, it was crazy. But neighbors who live near the home where the pipe bomb was found aren't surprised. They say 54-year-old Lonnie Claxton and his family own this home, but he moved out last year when he was sent to prison. Court records show Claxton has a long felony record. He's currently in prison for illegally owning firearms, pointing a firearm and domestic assault and battery. Police will investigate to determine if Claxton or someone else is behind the pipe bomb. As for the men who found it, they're thankful it didn't harm them. I've never experienced anything like this in my life, and I'm, I'm just thankful my family's alive and my family's safe. And the new property owner did not want to comment about this. We're told he just bought that home from the Claxton family last week. Live at police headquarters, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9.